What is going on fam, Skits here. Welcome back to the 39th episode to the One Copper to One Million Gold series. The rules are listed in the first two episodes. Let's loot the mailbox and see what sold and what did not sell. We have a uh, current total from the 38th episode of 16,598 gold. We bought up some Primal Fire. We flipped um, and reset the World of uh, Crit, the Enchant Ring. Uh, a lot of stuff. So right now we're getting some seeds back. We're getting our primal fires back. A little bit of our um, lean shanks, and that's the first 50 messages with 144 more uh, to be shown. So let's see what we got here. Uh, rough stone coming back again here, as we're accustomed to. But we also have flipped a lot of that throughout this series. It's important to note while we are getting all of this back that this is 39 episodes, 39 moves that um, have been under the microscope. Whether each individual, uh, individual, excuse me, item has sold or has not sold, you guys have seen it. So my main two accounts here now: Horde on Thrall and Alliance on KT. Um, I am controlling those markets on my main account, but as far as um, this series is concerned, this is made for more of a teaching point, um, back and forth, kind of, uh, what do we get back? All of our rough stone there. Okay, so here we go. Um, another 50 here. And then we should have some sales here at the end here to put us above um, 20K plus. I did do a little bit of research before I looted the mailbox just to see what I wanted to buy. Laylight shards are in a great place, but I don't have enough gold to flip that market. I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway, just to show you what I would do and what probably I'm gonna do on my main account here once I log over. But um, I'm gonna give you all the goods before um, we actually purchase some things here. So 44 more messages to be shown here. And then let's see if we landed any sales. We did, we did, looks like only um, some shanks and we did get a critical um, uh, word of crit enchant that did sell. So basically right here, guys, this crit, we bought those for under 100 gold and reset those up to 299. I did check the market. It's stable and it has not moved from there. So extremely uh, important that once we reset a market that nobody crashes it the day after and they haven't and they haven't yet, apparently. So um, right now we have 17,176 gold. I am going to look right now at the late light shards and show you what I would typically buy. Um, but there's like, I think like 230 some odd stacks of five up here at 44 gold. They usually teeter around 50 gold plus and the enchants are indeed flying off um, the auction house. So look at this, 285 of five, um, whoever that is. So um, I might buy those up and flip those on my main account, but just for now guys, let's list perfect we have our um enchants that are going back up here 15 stacks of one we reset those member guys yesterday for like 49 i think 50 gold up to like 60 gold so the crit are up perfect versatility i want to reset this and do the same thing but this one stack of 20 is kind of throwing it off i'm going to give this one more day maybe tomorrow's episode we'll finally uh we'll finally make that move so uh rough stone what happened to this let's see what we got here it's at one gold. I'm going to pretty stack this because I'll, 1, 20, 20, 18, 2 of 5, 1 of 5. Um, let's put these up in stacks of 10. Perfect. Right here. We're going to get rid of all of these and have a little sip of some coffee here because we are still a little bit under the weather. Thank you guys again. I know I say this every episode, but everybody popping into the live stream, showing love, asking questions, our community. If I don't have the immediate answer, if I'm doing a carry or Mythic Plus or Raid or something and I can't get to you guys, our community over the past couple of years has been insane and we just celebrated our partnership so we have all of our emotes our loyalty badges our cheer motes all of that in the works right now 20 plus emotes um, we're supposed to be getting here shortly so i have my graphics designer just um on just over time right now because we're super excited but uh, thank you guys again for all the love you guys are amazing all right here we go uh primal fire also going back up i checked the price like i said and that is stable 11 stacks of one awesome we're also going to put up our silk weave in stacks of five here. I like those. And then we're also going to throw up our barracuda 
and our koi. See guys, the thing you have to realize as well is we'll make gold and once we hit a certain amount, you know, 50K, 100K, and then one specific market I can like commit to and buy out, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna reset this here real quick. Um, but in the meantime, we have to just play it um, like we're playing it right now and just hope that we can push um, a lot of items at great prices and hold on to items that aren't selling for you know a great price at the moment what do i want to do here with this um lean shank you already know what i want to do here chat and we're going to do it we're resetting it yep on the spot right now there's only one small page of these one stack of three four stacks of one i'm absolutely going to buy these up and we're going to flip this right now chat so um, yeah, it's important to note that once again, these are just strictly moves. Every single time I get undercut, I can't get back on here, take it down, put it back up like I do on my main account. I just let it rock and roll. And um, I know these techniques have helped because regardless of how much gold you guys have that are watching this series, all of the markets that I'm recommending you guys get into or resetting or walling or doing any of these techniques that I'm using whether or not I have five gold or 500,000 gold. Um, mm. Nope, we're gonna leave that up. No sense in getting too greedy. We'll reset right underneath of that, shall we? So let's get these back up here. And go from there, guys. So I'm gonna check and we're gonna buy out our Chaos Crystal Market, I believe. It's at a higher price, but the enchants, like I said, are going for a pretty juicy amount at the moment. So um, I am going to scoop up all of the stacks just like I did here with the shanks and um, do the exact same thing. So one more loot of the mailbox here. We might actually need to, um, we might actually need to, what do you got going on here, Postal? You bugging out on me? Um, I'm just going to shift click these. We might have to do the exact same thing for the Chaos Crystals as well, chat, because they're going to be in just sloppy stacks here. And hopefully um, we can get rid of and just reload the UI one more time. I think this is the first time in 39 episodes that has ever happened. One more. Shift click, maybe. No, stay in there. Okay, do we even have it? We'll go back for you. We'll go back for the last seeds. Okay, here we go, guys. These are going back up. You're going back up and put them in stacks of 2011. Awesome. Also going to put our shanks back up. We should make some juicy, juicy um, bread off of these. 24 stacks of five right underneath of that. Also have our barracuda and koi. And like I said, as we grow and grow and grow, the amount of inventory we also have is a testament to you know how well this series has gone so far just because um, we're not going to buy things and just flop them back on the auction house during any single time you know what i'm saying like if tuesday reset um they are going for a lot of gold this is also getting reset absolutely guys so this one stack of 20 one stack of 200 one stack of 50 these are all going back to 12 gold right now a hundred percent anytime that I see a giant gap like that and I check the actual price what is going on with postal at the moment boys um, anytime I check the auction house and there's that big of a gap and the gap actually um, is legitimate you know what I'm saying so the prices could be astronomically just out of control um, because somebody you know made it like that but if koi are consistently selling throughout the week at 12 gold or a little bit li like less than that i'm going to reset back up to that price especially during um what's today thursday i believe so um yeah we still are pretty much the early part of the week tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then saturday sunday monday the prices will typically fall down so silk we've gone back up here boom we have our crit which already got undercut. So we're gonna reset these as well, live on the strum. It's a good thing we checked that. So let's put up another whopping 15 stacks here because we're not gonna be able to check those after we get off of the series. Also our individual shanks are going up there and our seeds right there. And then let's check out our chaos crystals to finish up this 
episode, boys. So look at we have like 153, the whole way up, and then the 175 gap. The history yesterday that they, they went up to 182. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset these back to 175, and we're gonna hope for the best. Just basically just me keeping my eyeballs on this market yesterday. And on my main account, I actually pushed, I think like 400 plus chaos crystals at that price. And um, it was pretty ridiculous. So I think the Christmas break, a lot of people are coming back to check out the game and or play and buy some things up. So that's going right underneath there, 175 guys. And let's make one more check again on our Laylight Shards, just in case um, somebody posted underneath of that giant stack, like 200, what was it, 285 of five. So maybe somebody posted below there in some really ridiculous stacks or prices. We'll do one more quick check here, and then we'll relist our Chaos Crystals. Nope, still staring at us in the face right there, guys. Okay, so uh, one check here since, what? That's why we just do an extra check. Is this real? 17 stacks of that at seven gold? That can't be real. I'm checking all the food right now, guys. I'm checking literally all of the food I typically go through. Um, we're gonna check. Um, let's go through also some uh, fatty steaks. Dude, that was insane snipe right there. Let's see what else we have here. Um, let's also look at our one more check here label okay good let's not get greedy here let's put all this up here I'm excited I'm excited for that giant live uh, snipe right there and postal seems to be I guess working again hopefully but um, chaos crystals going back up um, these big ribs are going back up. That's insane that we scoop those up for seven silver a pop. So huge, huge um, gain right there. We're going to list all of these. And then with 10,000 gold, let's see if we can push these bad boys and, um, and make some serious Skrilla here. So uh, one more check. Reload the UI here. Phenomenal episode. That was a phenomenal live snipe, guys. And you can expect a lot of that on the live stream as well. What is going on with you seeds? Bad seed. Okay. Okay. We're going back here, guys. Those are for another day. We're planting those another day. Okay, six stacks of five here. Pretty stacks going up. Mm, yep. Right here, perfect. We'll do one more check on our crit, make sure it's the cheapest. It's not because this guy typically, see how ours is both right here, 15 stacks of one. This gentleman only has these three stacks and he's going to probably take them down and relist them to make sure that they're the cheapest. But um, here we go, another 15 going up. Um, the deposit, like I said, is only 94 copper to list these up per, so I'm not worried about it. Um, and then these huge ribs are going up here. Let's put these up in stacks of, um, let's do what, 50 to get rid of them? 46 stacks of 50. If you want your ribs, you got your ribs, baby. Um, let's put them up actually right here. Put them up right here in stacks of 50. Awesome, awesome live snipe right there. And then uh, these scrap coal you're going to go back up. And that's going to be about it. We might do one more check. My muscle memory on my main account and um, high frequency listing, I want to check. This is what I'm actually doing, and this is some great um, teaching points right now because I would go back, I would um, check the crit, it's still the cheapest, and I would go and list everything else, and then I would come back and um, check my koi. What do we have here? It's still the cheapest, perfect. Um, we're gonna put those scraps up and then we'll go back, check our crit. So when you have a multiple uh, transmog items or mounts or enchants and gems and you have a bag full of that and you're going boom, 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 you'll get lost in the day, but you'll sell a lot of, uh, a lot of um, juicy things. So, all right guys, recap, seeds, koi, stones, primal fire, also the cheapest, perfect, shanks, silk weave, crit. One more check on that, make sure it's the cheapest it is, Chaos Crystals, Barracuda, and our ribs. How awesome is that? 
I will see you guys in the next episode, twitch.tv slash itskits. If you enjoyed this video or any of the other videos in this series, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with one of your gold goblins, and subscribe if you have not already. I love you. I'm out of here. Peace.